Good evening, Daniel. Good evening, uh, Henry. Good evening, Mr. Pardo, Carlos Rivas. Good evening, Reina. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm just giving a couple of uh, minutes for your classmates to um, join the class, okay? Good evening, Guillermo. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Great, excellent. How was your day? You still like have the day off with the system down? No, we have a system. The system already. was working, so you were back to back tonight, today. Mm -hmm. Not really. I feel like a normal day. A normal day. That's interesting, taking into consideration that yesterday the system was not working, right? Yeah. Okay, great. I see. So, welcome, my friend. Thank you. Okay. We have Evelyn also. And we have Nuria as well. Joining that. Okay, well, everybody, we are going to start practicing here tonight. So, officially, welcome to the class, right? Good evening, officially, to everybody. Thank you very much for being here on time. I truly appreciate your responsibility. We are going to start right now with the first activity for tonight. All right, so what is it? It's going to be this one, all right? Not on Twister for tonight, right? So, we're going to change it, and we're going to go with the matching card game, right? What is a matching card game? It's very simple, all right? So this is going to be, um, you know, like what we call in Spanish memory, all right? So when you have to match the two cards and then you accumulate points, right? So let's see. Let's see what's the first thing here, all right? So good evening, Nuria. Good evening, Ursula. All right. And how are we going to practice it? It's going to be very simple, all right? We are going to review some vocabulary here that we were talking about before, which is this one, about occupations. Okay, okay, okay. So we have this one here. Okay, excellent. So let's see, this one, volunteer for this one, who can tell me what is this one? Me, teacher. Thank you, what is it? It's a policeman. Policeman, let's see. Yay, thank you very much. Yes. Let's see the next one. Volunteer for the next one. Hmm? Volunteer, volunteer. It's a farmer. It's a farmer. Thank you, Henry. That's correct. What about this one right here? How do you call this one? Another person, volunteer. Hmm? Chef Cook. Chef Cook. Baker. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's not the Chef Cook or Baker. What do you think? Baker. It's Baker. Baker. Yes. All right. There you go. Thank you. Okay. I have the doctor. What is this one? Mm -hmm. It's a nurse. It's a nurse. Very uh, good. Excellent. Thank you. What about the next one? The next one? The next one? Okay. This one? What is it? Mm -hmm. 
A scientist. Scientist. Repeat it. Scientist. Exactly. Thank you very much. Right. Good, good, good. Excellent. So the next one, the next one, the next one. Mm -hmm. I need someone who can help me reading this part, please. It's a dentist. Dentist. Okay. Henry, can you help me reading this part? I can fix problems you have with your teeth. Teeth. All right. Very good. Excellent. So and that will be the dentist, as you said before. All right, thank you very much. Now let's see the next one. I need somebody else who can help me with this one. Aha, uh -huh. now, yes. Chef Cook. A Chef Cook. A Chef Cook, excellent. Nuria, can you help me reading that part, please? I prepare food for others. I work in a restaurant or coffee. Cafe. Cafe. Right. Exactly, all right. Remember that cafe, in English, it's not like, what you drink, all right? So it's the cafeteria. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent, thank you. So that will be the chef cook, excellent. Thank you, thank you. And there you go, excellent. So we have a new one here. Who can help me to read this section? Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Taylor. Taylor, all right. Can you help me to read it? Hello, who can help me to read? Read, 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 read. I make clothes for others. Clothes for others, exactly. So that's a Taylor. Good job. Okay, the next one, the next one. Okay, okay. Again, reading this part. Gardener. Can you help me reading it? Take care of the plants and the garden. Thank you. All right. So that's the gardener. Very good. This one. What is it? Doctor. Uh -huh. All right. Can somebody else help me to read this? Reading, reading. I help people that have any health problem. Thank you very much. Good job. All right. So you got this one, doctor. Thank you. This one, it says, I fight fire. Ahí está todo. What is it? Fireman. Fireman. Correct. Very good. I drove a taxi. Who is it? Taxi driver. Taxi driver. Very good. Y los demás, what's up, people? What happens with the rest? Solo Nuria and Henry have you participated. Let's see here. Veamos. Nuria, active. Noé, good. Catherine is active. Guillermo, um, Eduardo Flores, Carlos Rivas, and Daniel. Huh? Want to hear more participants? Thank you. So that's a taxi driver, very good. Okay, the next one, the next one. Uh-huh, I fly a plane. What's this one? Pilot. Pilot, very good. Thank you. Uh-huh, what about this one? Bad. Hmm? Bad. Bet. Very good. Excellent. What about that one? Lifeguard. 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 Exactly. Thank you. Ahí dice la camisa. All right. So, lifeguard. Taking photos. What is it? Photographer. 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 Very good, excellent. And, all right. Oh, look at that, Cameron Diaz. Uh huh. What is it? Actor. 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 Actor or actress. Very good. 
There you go. We have only three more so we can finish with this one. Repair machines, especially cars. Mechanic. Mechanic. Mechanic, exactly. Mechanic. And we only have two more. So that will be dry buses. Easy, right? What is it? Bus driver. Bus driver. And the last one right here, it will be. The shoemaker. All right. Excellent. Thank you, everybody. Right. So that was just like a review of like vocabulary of professions um, that we have been talking about in different companies. Right. So just for you to remember this. All right. So thank you very much for helping me and participating on this activity right here. All right. So it says game completed. So very good job. You did it wonderfully. All right. Thank you. Now, let's just go back here and see what's the next activity here. Okay, so here you have, um, that was just the first activity just for you to like remember some vocabulary previously checked, all right? Now, we are going to go to the this, uh, next activity here, which was going to be a quiz, a quiz, a quiz, a quiz, a quiz, all right. All right, so yes which is going to be about an activity we checked yesterday, okay? So, do you remember what was the topic that we were studying yesterday, the last topic about the grammar part? What was it? Uh-huh. The, the superlatives. The superlatives, exactly, right? So, it was the superlatives, very good. And what is a superlative? Mm -hmm. Do you remember what is a superlative? Hello? Hello, 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 hello? Are my students there? It's used for compare uh, more than two persons, mm -hmm. adjectives, mm -hmm. more than two more than two exactly right so when you want to highlight one thing one person or something among others right and let's see if you remember what were the rules that we were studying yesterday what are the last the last letters that we add to the adjectives to make it a superlative mm -hmm. uh, add e -S -T. E -S -T, correct very good and what happens when um, I want to, I have a negative of two syllables that ends in Y? It's changed for I. It changed for I, and then? E-S-T. E-S-T, exactly. And what happens with my, when my adjective is uh, a long adjective, more than two syllables? Uh, add the most. The most, exactly. For example? The most beautiful. The most beautiful, all right. Another example? Uh, the most intelli intelligent. For example, very good. Can you give an example of the adjectives ending in Y? Mm -hmm. What adjectives? Mm, pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty in the superlative? The prettiest. Prettiest, all right. So great, 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 great. All right, there you go, excellent. So then we are going to uh, put into practice all this knowledge where everybody is going to have the opportunity to participate in a competition, right? So like the way we did it the last time, right? So now I am going to share the link here in the chat so you can actually join this uh, test, all right? One second, it's loading here. Okay. I'm going to um, share it in the chat here 
in Zoom and also in the WhatsApp group. So you can actually see it there. Wait one second. Excuse me, guys. I'm just waiting for this to load. Okay, excellent. There you have it. You can use it right there. And also, you can use it here. Okay, it's in both places, in the chat here in Zoom and also in the WhatsApp group. Please join the link. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm just waiting for you to join the test so I can start it. All right, let's see here. Okay, okay. Hello, guys. Are you there? Are you yes, having sir. problems joining the test? Estamos en línea. Ya, pero ya les mandé el link ahí. No veo a nadie unido todavía. Esperando que la opción empiece. ¿Que la qué? Esperando a que el anfitrión empiece, dice. No, pero no hay nadie conectado todavía, por eso no empezamos. Yo estoy conectada, teacher. Okay. Let's see here. Let me restart it then. One second. Actualice la barra. I am on that right now. Thank you. Give me one second, please. No problema. Okay, 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 okay. Very good. Excellent. So thank you, my friends. I just restarted right here. I can see the 13 people you said. All right. So the last two people who joined it. So we can start right now. Okay. Excellent, Guillermo y Nuria. Uh -huh. Jill also, very good. Catherine Daniel, okay. Uh -huh. Excuse me. All right. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Right now, first place right now. Good. Jill, second place. Very good. Guillermo, third place. Excellent. So, Guillermo, you finished. That's third place. Jill is still first place. And then you go on this one. Thank you. Great, great, great. Excellent. Almost finished, people. Mm -hmm. Okay, time's up. They got the game finished. Third place, Guillermo. Second place, Reina. And first place, Jill. Excellent, Jill. Congratulations for you three guys. You were doing a very good job on that one, all right? Let's see. Most of you were answering the questions correctly. So, Jill has, um, you know, 86% of this one. Good job. Good job, good job, good job. Excellent. Thank you. That was actually super, super nice, all right? So, thank you, everybody, for... um you know, participating in this review, right? Which is about yesterday's topic. So thank you very much, all right? So we have participated already in two different activities, right? So thank you guys for uh, being responsible, right? And I'm sorry that before I was asking you, where are you in my computer was the problem. So I'm sorry, okay? So let's see. Now, 
let's see what the first activity here or the first question for today is going to be. Oops. There you go. Excellent. So we are going to start working with this one, which is going to be about monitoring personnel. And we have two questions, right? Which is the first activity for tonight. And it says here, the question number one, how are employees monitored at your company? All right. So like this one, how are employees monitored at your company? All right. So guys, do you understand the meaning of the word monitored? What is it? Monitoreados. Monitoreados, all right. So are you monitored in your jobs, people? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, I understand. Fine. Okay, excellent. How? How? Oh, so manager or manager. supervisor. Okay, the manager, the supervisor checks that one. All right. And then we have the second question. The second question says, what kind of documentation is used in your company to make sure employees are doing a good job? All right. So, so what kind of documentation uses, for example, your supervisor or your boss to monitor you, right? What type of documentation? A paper sheet, a system. Do you know that? Any form? You know what is a form? You know what is a form? Form. Mm -mm. Es un formulario. Mm -hmm. Like that one, all right? Don't worry, all right? So here I my have some examples. Don't use it. Excuse me? In my company don't use it as an intention. They don't use it, okay. Only you put in the put in finger. Oh my goodness. Well, we don't say like marketing. We don't say like putting finger, we can say like pointing out. Point out. Right? Like señalar. Like that one. That would be like the best one right here. So I have here a, an example, all right, of the question here, number one. So you can, you know, whenever you go to the breakout rooms, you can elaborate. A different answer. This is an example, of course, right? So it says here, at our company, employees are monitored through performance evaluations. All right. What is a performance evaluation, people? What is a performance evaluation? Evaluation de perfiles. No. No. Mm -mm. Evaluaciones de desempeño. Thank you, Henry. Yeah. All right, that is correct. Evaluaciones de desempeño. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Then we have this one. Goal setting and monitoring. All right. What is a goal setting and monitoring? What is that? Goal setting and monitoring. What is it? What is goal setting and monitoring, people? Do you know it? If you don't know it, say it. I don't know it, teacher. I don't know it. Okay, no problem. So, uh, first of all, let's just go word by word. What is just the word goal? What is it? Objetivo. Objetivo, meta, all right. So, and then setting. Herramientas. No, esos son settings. All right, con A, settings. All right, so then settings and monitoring. Establecer. There you go, excellent. Ahora tenemos entonces sería el establecimiento. Monitoreo. El establecimiento y seguimiento o monitoreo de los objetivos. ¿Understand? Yes, teacher. Very good, excellent. Aquí se los dejo en el chat so you can have it, all right? So, um, then you go on this one. Okay, let's continue. So now, we say here this one, okay? Time and attendance tracking. What is time and attendance tracking? Hmm? 
What is a tracking? Mm -hmm. Time and attendance tracking. Yeah. No idea. Okay. So this one, it's actually something about seguimiento. Seguimiento del tiempo y de la asistencia, right? Asistencia, which means that you go to work every day. Y el tiempo, el tiempo, for example, la hora de entrada, salida, eh, los recesos, etc. Right? Eh, that's actually a tracker, all right, for that. So they can see if you are following it correctly or if you are coming late to your job, etc. Right? So then continue here and it says, it says, it says, uh, technology-based monitoring and quality assessments, all right? Cuantidades de calidad. Our monitoring methods aim to ensure, uh-huh. What is aim to ensure, my friends? We have vocabulary here, aim to ensure. What is it? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Aim to ensure. It means. Como asegurarse. Ya, yeah, asegurar. Objetivo es, I mean, si solo ponemos como aim to ensure, would be like asegurarse. Pero, like, if you actually work at the word productivity, sería entonces asegurar la, el objetivo eh, de la productividad, right? So, would be like that one. O oh, objetivo de garantizar la, la, la productividad. All right, PBT. And you go like this one. Like that, right? Which it means is just like objetivo. Teacher. Yes, my friend. En este caso no se puede traducir como por separado, digamos, la, cada una de esas palabras. Exactly, right? So you are right, porque si las utilizamos por separado, they might change the context or the meaning that you're trying to give. Por ejemplo, sabemos que aim it's apuntar, right? Eh, y like eh, ensure es asegurar in the productivity, la productividad. Entonces, si yo solo voy a apuntar a las, a asegurar la productividad, it might not make sense in Spanish. So we have to go with the whole thing. Aim to ensure productivity para poder traducirlo correctamente. In this case, of course, right? Okay, so let's see here. Um, let's continue with the next one here. Uh, maintain a positive work environment. I have a question for you, my friends. Do you have a positive work environment in your job? You know, work environment? Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry. Yeah, cool. Ambiente laboral, laboral. I was missing some here. There you go. Work environment. It's supposed to be like this one. Sorry. All right. Okay. And then uphold. What is uphold here? Mm -hmm. What is uphold? Okay, so uphold. Como cumplimiento. Not really. It says like defender, all right? Eh, the company policies, all right? If you want it like this one, defender or respetar las company's policies. Of course, you want to say like this one. Uphold. Uh -huh. uphold the company policies. If you want to say like this one, como decía Henry, right? Si lo, se lo traduzco así nomás solito, uphold means defender, but like uphold the company policies. All right, it's going to be here. Oops, excuse me. Eh, like this one respetar las políticas de la empresa, all right? 
And we're respecting employees' privacy and confidentiality. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. Do you have more questions about the vocabulary that you can see here in this slide? Yes or no? No. Okay, excellent. Um, can I have a volunteer, please, for reading the paragraph again? Yes. Volunteer, volunteer, please. Hello, hello. Me, teacher. Thank you very much, Eduardo. Go ahead. At our company, employees are monitored for performance evaluation. Mm -hmm. Call sitting and monitoring, time and attendance tracking, technology based monitoring and quality assessment. Our monitoring methods are to ensure productivity, maintain a positive work environment, mm -hmm. and afford company policies while respecting employees' privacy and confidentiality. And confidentiality. Very good job. Excellent. Thank you, my friend. I truly appreciate it. You did a very good job. Congratulations. All right. So now let's see the next one right here. And uh, now this is the example number one, of course, right? So we have then the example number two. The example number two is the one that you will see there. All right. So uh, like, like what type of things use your company right there? And it says like in our company, we use various types of documentation to ensure that employees are performing well. This includes performance evaluations, goal setting, and monitoring time and attendance tracking, technology-based monitoring, and quality assessments. These methods help us assess productivity, maintain a positive work environment, and uphold company policies while respecting employees' privacy and confidentiality, right? It's a very similar answer. That's why I basically use the same vocabulary to uh, provide the example here because the questions are very similar as well. Okay, those are the two questions and I gave you the two examples right there. Do you have questions? No questions? Okay, so um, let's just go ahead right now and uh, work in the breakout rooms. Oh, by the way, let me see if you have sent the screenshots here to the group. No, okay. Let me send them here. Okay, okay. I'm sending this right now. Quick sec. Thank you for sharing the vocabulary. Those are the questions. And also I'm sending the examples in case you are going to use them, of course. Okay. Okay, okay. In the second one, I almost finished, one second. Okay, very good. Okay, the information has been sent to the group. All right, so now let's just continue here. And let's prepare here the breakout room. So remember, I'm going to verify if you can participate or not, right? So I have here this one. Okay. So let's see, Eduardo Flores. Hello, Eduardo Flores. Yeah. Can you participate normally? Yes. Okay, thank you. Henry, is your connection stable now? No, muy bien. Okay, 
All right, so let's see. Eh, Carlos Rivas. Oh, no, Carlos Rivas is... Yes, listening. teacher. Yes, oh. teacher. Oh, okay, what a surprise. Hello, <laughs> right? So, and then Daniel Membreño. Yes. Yes. Excellent, excellent. thank you. So, Maritza Elizabeth and Esteli. Yes, teacher. All right, yes, teacher. so Catherine and Nuria. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. So let's see. Noé and Evelyn. Yes, teacher. Evelyn, Evelyn. Oh, oyente. All right. Very good. Mr. Pardo, oyente. And Sonia? Yes, teacher. Okay. Very good. So we're going to go here to this one. Okay. That's fine. And we go here to number four. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so I guess I have balanced this. All right, so everybody, let's join the breakout rooms right now. Okay. Okay, very good. Excellent. Let's join here. Hello, girls. Uh, assistants, do you have questions? Or no questions? No, teacher. Uh, no question. Okay, no problem. In case that you need help, I'm going to be here for a moment in this room, okay? So you can ask any question. Okay, thank you. Right. Okay, I'm going to go to another uh, breakout room because they're asking for help. One sec. Ya contestaste la primera pregunta. No. Hello, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry for Hello, the movement. Hello, DJ. All right. I will be here in case you need assistance, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Um, the question one. Uh, okay. Um... Who are employees monitor at your company? Um, in my company, um, I don't not control. You there is no control. Um. 
no, eh, digamos, bueno, no sé cómo decirlo en, en español, uh -huh. pero no tenemos como un control simplemente que si a usted le piden algo de su trabajo, eh, tiene que estar al día completo y pues no hay mayor control, solo tiene que ser responsable. Pero no hay, no, o sea, no hay un marcador, digamos, que marca la hora de entrada o cosas así. Ay, qué chivo, the nice. All right, so. That's nice, nice, nice. Es nice, pero la mayoría sale bien tarde. Oh, ok. A lot of jobs. Mm -hmm. Pero igual llegan a las nueve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, así que no sé cómo I don't know eh, the question sí, eh, no es eh, eh, en, en your work in my case in, uh, in my company employees are monitoring through evaluation to deter, determine determine the, determine the capac capacity yep. Capacity, perhaps? Capacity uh -huh. of, uh, of each employee. Uh -huh. The manager is in char charge of determi determining the abilities of each employee. Okay. okay. Are you going to make any change? You can use the same answer if you want to, but you have to read it correctly, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. I will go to a different room. If you um, need help, let me know, okay? Okay, okay. teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, everybody, you finish here? Hello? Hi, teacher. Did you finish? The, la, la preguntas. Yes. Yes. Okay, good, because you are a volunteer. Okay, espera. <laughs> do you have questions or do you need help? No question. Okay, no problem. Hello, girls. Any question? Do you need help, assistance, or you finished? Hi, teacher. You finished? No, not yet. Oh, okay. I am going to stay in this room for a moment. In case you need help, just let me know, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. All right.
Okay, we're going to return to the main station right here, okay? We are just waiting for everybody else to join the class again. One sec. Okay, great, excellent. Everybody, welcome back to the main session. So right now I'm going to, ch to choose um, some volunteers so they can help me with the answers, all right? I'm going to choose three volunteers for the first question and also three volunteers for the second question, okay? Who is going to be my first volunteer for question number one? Hello? Hello, hello? Hello? Hello, teacher. All right. Would you be my volunteer, Noe, for question number one? Uh, okay. Uh, who are employees monitored at your company? Mm -hmm. uh, in, in my company, employees are monitored through evaluation to deter, determine determine the capabilities of each employee. The manager is in charge of the, determining the abilities of each employee. That is correct. Hey, I like your answer and I like how you were organizing the ideas and putting the vocabulary together. You were doing a very good job, Noe. Thank you very much for being the volunteer. Good, good, good job. All right, and now, um, thank you. Any other volunteer? Mm -hmm. Any volunteer? Hello, hello? Thank you, Maritza. Please go ahead and tell us your answer. Who are employees monitored at your company? Thank you. Tell me, how? In, in my company, there is an administrator in each branch who is in charge of the employees. Okay, very good. So you said HR, is that correct? Each, each branch. Oh, each branch, you said. Yeah, each branch. Oh, okay, excellent. So let's say that they have like a supervisor per branch. Okay, see. Okay, yes, thank you very much. Okay, uh, let's see this one. Thank you, my friend. That was actually a very good job. Thank you very much for participating also, all right? Very good. So now let's just continue with the next one. Who is going to be? Here, my next volunteer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hello. Who is it? The number one. It's still the number one. Ah, uh, okay. Um, our employee monitoring and your company. Mm -hmm. 
Digital Coordinator, Supervisor, Monitoring of Programming in Complaints of Activities. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much for this one. That was actually a good job as well. So basically, you have shared three different ways that companies used to monitor the, um, the employees, right? So very good job as well. Thank you very much. All right. Now, let's go for the question number two. Remember the question number two says, what kind of documentation is used in your company to make sure employees are doing a good job? right so for that answer we are going to listen to mr daniel membreño please go ahead question number two my friend hello daniel Me, teacher. Thank you, Ursula. I appreciate it. Okay. What kind of document documentation is used in your company to make sure employees are doing a good job? Mm -hmm. Um, in my in my department, we use various types of documentation and technology. For example, we use worksheet, app, and service. The worksheets are used to make performance evaluations for things and monitoring time. The firms, the, the apps are used for are used for assigning tickets and monitoring the response time and the solution time to the to the customer. And finally the survey that is used or measure the customer satisfaction. All right, excellent. Oh my God, that was actually a really, really, really good answer. Thank you, uh, Nuria, I really appreciate it. And thank you, of course, for being the volunteer, all right? I truly appreciate that. So let's see, all right. Thank you. We are going to continue with the next activity right here. Okay, so for the activity, we have to do together, right? Activity number two and activity number three at the same time, right? So this is going to be here a conversation, right? So that you guys are going to a uh, model, right? And then you guys are going to answer some questions based on the conversation, of course, right? So let me just uh, read it for you first so I can give you the example in how to pronounce it, etc. Right, and then you go and practice with a partner, all right? So it says here, where's Mario? He's late for his shift. Mario, goodness, I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry, he should have called me directly if he had called to my phone. I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon, let me cover for him easy all right so now before i send you to the breakout room so you can practice the conversation and work on the next activity let me ask you do you have questions about the any vocabulary or the pronunciation of every word here what do you say substitute <laughs> substitute Substitute. Substitute, yes. Substitute. All right. Thank you. Any other question? Vocabulary or pronunciation? Is it clear? Do you want me to repeat the conversation again? No? Can we continue? Okay, I will assume you said yes. Okay, and remember that also at the same time, you are going to be working on this thing here, which is activity number three. In the activity number three, you are going to complete these three statements that are part of the conversation, of course, and you're going to fill the blank spaces with the vocabulary that you are going to read in the conversation. And of course, 
Remember, you have to practice as well at uh, the pronunciation of the um, conversation that you just saw before. Okay. Um, did you take the screenshot for this activity for the number three? Activity number three? Not yet. Okay. Let me send the screenshot here. Okay, one sec. Oh, somebody send it now? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Gustavo. All right, excellent. So then I can stop sharing here and then you can go back to the breakout rooms. And please do me a favor, guys. When I access to the breakout room, I want to hear you practicing, not on silence, please, because not everybody is a listener tonight. So the groups have been created in a way that everybody can participate. So please practice, okay? All right, excellent. Uh, okay. Reina, no, Catherine. Catherine, Catherine, were you working before in a different uh, room? In Nuria. With Nuria, okay. So, All right. And the number four, okay. There you go. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Okay. Where's Mario? He is layer manager. Thanks. I will I would have called that. He is very sick. I should have told you early. Don't worry. He should have called me manager directly. If he had called it to my phone, I have phone a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Hoy no está Esmeralda con nosotros. Está reina. Ah, ok. Pero ya creo que está bien. Entonces, volvamos. You can switch, you can switch the roles, right? All right, teacher. Like, like, for example, if you were, um, if you were the kitchen manager, now you can be Mary. And if you were Mary, you can be the kitchen manager now. Understand? Yes. Okay, great, excellent. Continue, please. Hey, Mario. He's late for his seat manager. Mario, goodness. 
I got a call that he is very sick. I should have got you earlier. You should have called me manager directly. If he had called my phone, I could have phoned as substitute. I know. I have time. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Where's Mario? He is later for his shift, Mario. Mario, goodness. I would have called that he is very sick. I should have told you early. Told you. He should have called me. Uh-huh. I could have found Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Um, we have to do the midterm um, in this week or we have until the, the next week? You have until the next week because this course is for five weeks. Right? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. But if because you... I, I uh -huh. already did it. So, well, I mean, that's fine. I mean, you can, you, you don't have to wait until, um, you know, the next week to do it. You can do it now. If you want, if you know how to answer the other homework assignments and also the, um, the final test, you can complete it from now. Okay. I mean, that's, that, that's no limit. All right. Great. Excellent. Okay. I would like to know why you two guys, Guillermo and Daniel, never participate when I am asking for volunteers if you are super good. Mm, I'm, I want to be really honest with you, teacher. Uh -huh. um, sometimes I, I feel that I'm really, really tired. Mm -hmm. So it is difficult for me to pay attention because I, uh, sometimes I, I'm sleeping, well, so just for a few minutes. Okay, I understand that one, right? And you know, I I'll completely understand that everybody's working before the class, but um, try to do the effort, right? So especially you guys who are super good, right? So I wouldn't actually like that. Uh, your English level is affected by not participating in the activities, of course, right? But I, by sure. the way, mm -hmm. uh, I, I would like to ask um, it if it's uh, correct because I, I see um, like publicity mm -hmm. um, that some places are uh, como contratando, ¿verdad? para diferentes cuentas. The uh -huh. hiring, but is a chat account. Yes. Um. The, the the well, if you're talking about the same call center, 
Um, yeah, they recently released um, an, an, an ad about chat account, but it's about sales. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, it is true, of course, right? But you have you must have a really good um, grammar skill, all right? A typing skills also. And a, you should know how to express yourself writing, or in this case, typing, right? So in order for you to convince the customers to buy the products that the company is offering. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you are you uh, trying to switch your workplace? Mm, me gustaría, pero no sé si estoy listo para algo así. Nunca he aplicado, fíjese, la verdad. You bueno, know... sí, solo una vez, pero porque un amigo me, me hizo una mala broma. Yo ah. me estaba muriendo de una gran gripe y me refirió para Sykes. Y cuando me llamó el reclutador, me estaba muriendo de una gran fiebre. Y me hizo la entrevista y todo, pero me dijo que podía ir a la Saix acá a mí un mes. Y me dijo, ya te falta poco, me dijo. Yo creo que si ese es el mes, ya quedaste. Me. Well, that's, that's up to you, right? So um, you can try to, to apply if you feel ready or you can try to apply to see what happens, you know? Um, just to get the experience, of course. Yeah. All right. So, but there are, you know, this is like the highest season of the year because all the accounts and all the call centers need a lot of people because Christmas is coming. And that's the reason why, um, you know, they need a lot of people taking calls. Um, you can try to apply, all right? Or you can, you know, contact me um you know through whatsapp so if you are interested i can give you more details not talking about referring you because i don't do that but if you need my assistance like you know guiding you through the process i can continue helping you there okay thank you so much all right excellent uh -huh, daniel what happens with you tonight you're sleepy too no teacher because I called you before and you were on silence, completely on silence. Hmm. I'm so sorry, Dick, but estaba, como le digo? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> estaba ocupado, pero ya regresé. Oh, I understand what you mean. Sí, sí, no, no es que me haya retirado, sino que... <laughs> okay, that's fine. No more details. All right. Thank you. We are going to close the rooms right now. So please go back to the main station. Okay. Welcome back, everybody here. Okay, okay. Waiting for everybody else to come. We're missing a few of them. Excellent. Well, everybody, welcome back to the main session. So now I'm going to um, call some volunteers who would like to participate reading the conversation, all right? So, uh -huh, do I have volunteers now? Thank you, Daniel. Please go ahead, Daniel and Guillermo. Literature. Whenever you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. Where is Mario? He's late for his shift. Mario? Goodness, I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry. 
he should have called me directly. If I had called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. All right, excellent. Thank you very much, right? So you were doing a very good job. Just remember, this word right here is not call it, it's cold. Very cold. cold. There you go, excellent. So thank you, my friends. You were doing a very good job. So congratulations for both of you. All right, now tell me, uh, I'm gonna volunteer. Who is it? Me, me, teacher. Eduardo, Eduardo, who were you working with? Henry. Henry, okay. Henry, Eduardo, please go ahead. Where's Mario? He is late for his shift manager. Mario, goodness. I got a call that he is very sick. I should have told you early. Don't worry, he should have called me manager directly if he had called to my phone. I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Okay, great. Excellent. Thank you very much. You did a good job as well. All right. I just have two observations right here. Um, Eduardo, the word manager pertenece a este, kitchen manager, kitchen manager, okay? It was not part of the, the conversation. Oops. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, and then, um, Henry, this pronunciation of this word is earlier, repeat it. Earlier. There you go, with an R at the end. Thank you guys for participating. You were doing also a very good job. All right, let's see who's my next volunteer. My teacher. Thank you, Noé. Who are you working with? Uh, Sonia. Okay, Noé and Sonia, please go ahead. Okay. Thank okay. you. Where's Mario? He is layer for his chip. Mm -hmm. Mario, goodness. I got called that he is very sick. I shall have told you earlier. Don't worry. He is sure, sure, uh, have called call me directly. He is, he have called call, call to my phone or have phone a uh, substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you were doing a very good job as well right there. Just remember uh, the words that you can see there that I underlined. So you pronounce it that later and it's not later. It's only late. Repeat it. Late. Late. All right. Exactly. And then the other one right here that I uh, underlined, it's this one that you pronounce it like, uh, I should have called you, you said. And it's not called. It's told you. Told you. Told you. Totally. Correct. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you guys for participating. I really appreciate it, right? So, uh, any other volunteer? Okay, no problem. I need volunteers now for uh, answering this question right here, all right? So, what's the vocabulary that I should add here? Who can help me with number one? I shall have I sh told you earlier. Okay, I should have told you earlier. Earlier. Right. Oops, we actually uh, double right here, this one. Oh, what happens? All right, all right. Well, never mind. So you know that is correct. <laughs> all right, so I should have told you earlier, right? So let's eliminate this one right here. All right. I should have told you earlier. Very good. Number two, what is it? He should have called my directly. He should have called me. Very good. Excellent. So he, he should have called. Very good. Call me directly. And number three? Mm -hmm. 
I could have found. I could have found. A substitute by now. All right, excellent. So that was basically part of the conversation, right? So thank you very much for um, answering this one. So now this is structured, the one that you see here, uh, the one that you can see here as should have called or could have. That's exactly what we're going to be talking about right now, all right? So let's just pay attention to this one. And this is actually the uses of the modal verbs, all right? So what are the mother birds? Let's see this one. I need a volunteer who can help me to read this uh, line right here, the one that is actually circle. Use perfect models to express regret or remorse about past actions. Thank you very much. I have another question for you. What is regret or remorse? What is that? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Regret or remorse? Mm -hmm. No idea? No problem. No, so, idea. Yeah. no idea. It's that one. Remorse yeah. is remordimiento. Mm -hmm. Pero la otra no. La otra no sé. <laughs> es, eh, the regret is arrepentirse o arrepentimiento. And remorse, remordimiento. Okay. That's actually the first one. So this is actually, this is how you use those things right here. All right. So which express the ideas here, like, eh, sorry, like to express like you regret about something. Que te arrepentices acerca de algo que se pudo haber hecho. All right. Now, what's the structure right here? Tenemos dos estructuras. Tenemos should have y tenemos could have. What's the difference? It's going to be this one. So for example, when you said, I should have called you, the example that you see there, I should have called you, it's going to be the same, the, the same, sorry, that as to say, debería haberte llamado. All right, so like this. Take a look. I should have called you. Debería haberte llamado. So, should have means debería haber. All right, so that's really should have. For example, how do you say, I was the mismo example here. Tenemos ahorita, I should have called you. Que sería, yo debí haberte llamado. How do you say entonces, él debería haberla llamado? How do you say that? Ella debería haberla llamado. ¿Eh? He should have. Uh -huh. He should have called him. So, like, for example, if you want to say here, eh, él o ella, si decimos, él debería haberla llamado a ella, of course, so it will be like, he should have called her, right? So you go on this one. En ese debería haber. So as you can see here, it's not going to change. El should y el have se mantiene igual. Y el verbo va en pasado, right? Past participle, by the way. Eh, should have called her, okay? So how do you say, for example, yo debería haber ido a la fiesta? How do you say that? Uh -huh. How do you say yo debería haber ido a la fiesta? Hello? No idea. All right. Uh, veamos la estructura que acabamos de utilizar. Uh, All right. ¿Cómo se diría yo I debería should, haber? I should have. I should, I should have. have. ¿Y cuál es el pasado participio? What's the past participle del verbo go? Gone. Gone. ¿Y a la fiesta? To the, the party. party. Exactly. So tendría I should have gone to the party. Understand? I should have gone to the party. Uh -huh, exactly. All right. So in then you can say, for example, um, oh, okay. Now let's put it in negative. How do you say, no debí haber comido eso? Uh -huh. I shouldn't have eaten. No. Um... 
Uh -huh. I shouldn't have eaten that. I shouldn't have eaten that. Mm -hmm. Exactly, right? So you were doing a good job on that one, all right? Remember, it's actually how you say that one, right? So this is a structure. First of all, you go with the subject. Then you go um, should have. And then the past participle of the verbs, right? Like in this case, is this one. Um, how do you say, for example, ella debió haber comprado esa casa? How do you say that? Ella debió haber comprado esa casa. How do you say that? Ella debió haber comprado esa casa. She should have, have uh -huh. bought that house. That house, exactly, right? So because that is actually like the structure right here. So since as you can see here, it doesn't matter if you're talking about I, he, she, or in plural, the should have, it's going to be exactly the same for all the subjects, right? And uh, uh, then after that, we use the past participle of the verbs. All right, so good. And if you're going to talk about negative, right? So we're going to use shouldn't. Ahora, right, how will you use, for example, the next example that you get that have there, which is el could have. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre el should have y el could have, right? Mm -hmm. What's the could have meaning there, right? Podría oh, ver. Um. All right, exactly. This is como like podría haber, right? For example, if you want to say, eh, I could have covered him, que es el example de la, um, de la, like, de la conversation, that will be translated as, yo podría haberlo cubierto. Podría haber, o haberlo cubierto, en este caso, porque estamos hablando de él. All right, por eso es haberlo. Si no, like, could it be different? All right, or well, the example that you can see on the screen. This ahí, the manager could have fixed. How do you say that in English? I mean, in Spanish. The manager who have fixed the schedule. Mm -hmm. How would you say that in, in, in Spanish? The manager who el, have fixed your schedule. El gerente tuvo que haber marcado su horario. No. ¿Qué dijimos que era could have, my friends? De, debería. debería. Podría haber. Correct, Ursula. Podría, podría haber. Entonces ahí sería el gerente podría ha, haber arreglado, arreglado por ahí. Uh -huh. This one right here, right? Could have. Who we'll have this one? Normally, this is in, in grammar, this is known as the third conditional, right? Si hubiera hecho esto, habría pasado esto, right? So, eh, y si se usa third conditional, estamos hablando de la estructura if in the subject and had. Por ejemplo, all right, if I had known, I would have gone. So, how would you translate this one right here? Tell me. If I had known, I would have gone. Perdón, ahí me, se me, me faltó una en el non. All right. El if, al principio, sorry. If I had none, I would have gone. This one. If I had none, I would have gone. How would you translate that into Spanish? If I have none, so it will be like this one. If I have none, I will have gone to the party. It will be like this one. Si lo hubiera sabido, habría ido. Mm -hmm. I have a question for you, my friends. Vamos a ver, all right? So, eh, vamos a ver, yo creo que this phrase, you have heard this phrase before. How do you say in English? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'm typing right now. There you go. Excellent. Mm. 
okay Uh huh. Excellent. How do you say this in English? Uh huh. Tell me, how do you say that in English? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello, my students. Are you there? Did you, see, yes, teacher. did you see the sentence I sent? How do you say that in English? Mm -hmm. No idea. It's the structure that we are checking. All right, vamos por partes. Eh, la primera parte, si no te hubieras ido. How do you say that? If you... Para empezar, right, remember que if, el, if had, no tuvieras ido, tendría que ver aquí, es el past participle, que sería algo más o menos así. If, la, 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 all right, entonces, if I had none, aquí se dice si yo hubiera sabido, pero como la expresión dice si no te hubiera sido, ¿quién se fue? Él, yo, tú, ella, etc. ¿Quién se fue? En el example. Uh -huh. You. Correct. So, sería, if you, como es negativo, eso sería? Um, hadn't, all right? Okay. So, if you hadn't, what's the verb para decir ido? Ido. Left. Correct, left, all right? So, left, left, left. Esto sería, if you hadn't left, tenemos la primera parte. Ahora, habría sido feliz. ¿Quién I habría sido feliz? Have. ¿De quién estoy hablando? I no. would have. Entonces sería, I would have. have. Ajá. ¿Cómo se dice sido? No lo sé. Eh, el pasado participio del verbo to be. Bien. Ajá, muy bien. Bien happy. I would have been happy. All right. Y ahí está. Ya podemos traducir la canción del buque. All right. Being there happy. you go. If you hadn't left, I would have been happy. There you go. Excellent. So you see? There you go. Okay, excellent. That's just like trying to say this one. Do you understand the meaning now or the difference until it should have, el could have? Yes or no? No, teacher. <laughs> Why not, Nuria? Yeah, thank you, Nuria. All right, so. Let's see, digamos, ¿qué significaba should have people? Uh -huh. Debería haber. Está en el chat, chicos. Aquí en el chat Debería de Zoom. <laughs> All right. So, thank you, Ursula. Yes, it says right here. Eh, Debería haber. All right. So, eh, as you can see it right here. So, it will be like. Like that one. For example, aquí, my estimada Nuria, can you please tell me how would you translate into Spanish? Uh, I should have sent the report. Solo esta parte. I should have sent the report. How would you translate it, Nuria? Nuria. Oh, hi. <laughs> sí. mm -hmm. A ver, espérame. It will... Uh... Si no, si no, no, eh, I would. Aquí estamos, aquí estamos, aquí estamos, aquí estamos, aquí, 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 aquí. Es que me llamo perdido. Y if you have, had an, si no te hubiera sido. No, Nuria, aquí estamos, ve, en la pantalla, Nuria, en la pantalla. En el screen, en no, el screen. Ok, donde I should have sent eh, the report. Ah, uh -huh. you see, you were not paying attention. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's see. And tell me, how do you say that in Spanish, Nuria? I should si si pudiera si hubiera si hubiera no sé sent no sé qué es. Okay. Enviado. 
Debería haber, exactly. Debería haber. Eso dijimos que significa sí. should have. Entonces aquí dice. Debería, debería de, haber enviado el reporte. El reporte, el reporte. exactly, exactly, exactly. And, and how would you translate, for example, if you have this one? I could have sent the report. Vamos a poner el mismo contexto para que vean, all right? How would you translate this one then? I could have sent the report. Ayuda social. Podría, podría haber enviado. Podría haber enviado. Podría este haber. es debería haber y este es podría haber, all right? Understand? Yes, it is. Yes, excellent. Let's see if it is true. Let's have an exercise right here, all right? So, take a look at this one. We have this exercise right here. And uh, give me a second. Well, it's okay. All right, so this one. The number one, it says, if the servers had received proper training, they could have answered customers' questions. Okay, that is this one. How would you translate? Oops. How would you translate this one right here? Mm -hmm. The first one. How would you translate it? Como lo traducirían? Hello? Se me fueron otra vez. Hello, hello. Podría haber respondido las preguntas de los clientes. Pero, ¿a dónde, ¿en qué parte? Porque ahí no está esa parte. Si los perdedores hubieran recibido su propio entrenamiento. Eh, proper sería como adecuado, ¿verdad? Right? Ah, ok, adecuado entrenamiento. Uh -huh. So this um, ellos podrían haber contestado las preguntas del cliente. Exactly, all right. So remember, right? Para entender una nueva estructura, tenemos que saber cuál es su equivalente in Spanish. To understand a structure in English, we need to understand what's the meaning in Spanish. That's why we're doing these exercises here. All right? Entonces era, si los servidores hubieran recibido un entrenamiento adecuado, ellos podrían haber contestado las preguntas de los clientes. All right, that's actually how you go on this one right here. Veamos, aquí tenemos que vamos a utilizar should en negativo y el verbo. Ya te estamos dando la, la casi casi la respuesta, All right? So, we have here the bartender that bottle of wine without permission. Okay, so what will that be? The bartender? Mm -hmm. Should not. First of all, we are going to say should uh, not because, of course, it says there that it has to be negative. So it will be like should, should not. Uh huh. That bottle uh, of wine. Should. should not taking, like that. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Are you sure you don't need to add anything else? Uh, I don't have. Exactly, right? You shouldn't have taken. Recuerda que esto puede quedar así como should not, or you can simply say this one, shouldn't. Shouldn't have taken. And it's okay in both ways. All right, so the bartender shouldn't have taken that bottle of wine without permission. Very good, excellent, thank you. What about this one right here, which is wool? We are going to use wool and we're going to use the verb be. Uh -huh. So what is it? Serpent would have have been in trouble. Uh -huh. They have been late for the meeting. Exactly, all right. So now let's say this one. Well, I'm going to tell you people. So, pay attention. All <laughs> right. So, let's say this one. What about number four? Number four here, it says that we're going to use should, and then we are going to use ask. So, what will be the answer here? Oops. Uh-huh. What will be the answer here? You should have. You should have. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. 
ask. Uh -huh. You should the have manager. asked the manager for a day the off. Manager for a day off. Very good, excellent. So thank you. What about number five? Number five, the verb is take, and it says that we are going to use should not. So the question shouldn't have taken. Shouldn't have taken. Very good. So it's gonna be like shouldn't have taken. Very good. Shouldn't have taken. And then number six. So this is like should and call. Oh. I should. Uh huh. Uh, call. Uh, I'll call. I'll call. 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 Exactly. 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 All right. So we have this one now. Uh, I have this question for you right here, my friend. So you can see this one properly. Uh huh. Tell me, how would you translate the first question? Oh, the first, no, the second one into Spanish. Mm -hmm. This one into Spanish. What is it? In camarero. Huh? No debería. Uh -huh. No debería. Haber, haber tomado. Haber tomado. La botella de vino. Uh -huh. Sin permiso. Sin permiso. Very good job. Excellent. What about number three? Podrían haber. Podrían haber. Está en problemas. No. No es podrían. Remember. Porque podrían es could. Habrían. Mm -hmm, exactly, right? Habrían. Habrían estado en problemas. Estado en problemas. Sí, ellos eran tomados. Remember, yeah. what's the meaning of this verb? Ben. What's the meaning of the verb? Si sí, hubieran ah. llegado tarde. Estado tarde a la reunión. Estado, estado tarde, llegado tarde a la reunión. Very good. Oops, number four. What is it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Number four, number four. Tú deberías haber preguntado right. eh, al gerente por un día libre. All right, excellent. So, and yeah, you know what? The verb ask is preguntar, for sure, all right? Pero cuando está como phrase up verb, es decir, ask y for, eso es pedir. ¿Entienden? Ask for. Ask for. Mm -hmm. Deberías Debería haber pedido. Uh -huh. Deberías haber pedido un día libre al manager. All right, so good, good, good. Number five. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Debería haber tomado. Debería haber tomado. Este dinero. Ajá. Uh -huh. De la, de, de la caja de registro. La caja registradora, right? Number oh. six. Yo debería haber, yo debería haber llamado. Para avisarle al gerente. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. Remember that it's not only about, you know, completing the sentences, but also understanding exactly what they mean. All right. And you prove that this is correct. Questions? Tomen a screenshot que se parecen a de las, de las tareas, my friends. Yes. Do you take the screenshot? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. So let's go work on the last activity here for tonight, which is going to be the next one. Okay, let me see here. 
There you go, this one. All right, excellent. So everybody, so we are going to read here. Tenemos aquí five situations, right? We are going to read the situations and, um, you know, we are going to do things that the manager could have done to improve, right? Pasaron cinco situations, five situations happens in the restaurant. Vamos a hablar de estas acciones and then del manager, que pudo haber hecho el manager, what the manager could have done to improve or to solve them, all right? So, for example, let's take a look to number one. Number one, it says, money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can tell who is taking it. What is the number one saying? What's the situation number one? What is saying in the situation number one? Cheers. <laughs> El dinero desapareció de la caja registradora, pero no. No puedo decir. ¿Quién lo tomó? Tomó. All right, excellent. Como manager, ¿qué hubiera hecho usted? ¿O qué le hubiera recomendado al manager? A mí se me ocurre esto. Yo esto soy something, right? He could oh, have yeah. installed cameras. ¿Cómo ven este? Yeah. All right. He could have installed cameras, for example. All right. So, like that one. Understand? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so let's just go right now to the breakout rooms so you can actually practice the last activity here. Everybody, go back to the breakout rooms. Es el, 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 el when the, the issue is uh, but we have we have to give a suggestion in order to avoid the situation. Um, like uh, an advice, but before that situation is um, antes que haya pasado, mm -hmm. no, no, de, no después, sino, sino antes. Mm. In order to avoid the situation. Correct. I don't know. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
And so Which one are you working in, on? In, in number two. Number two. Number two says mm -hmm. someone broke three bottles of the best wine in the restaurant, but none of the servers has reported the issues. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, ustedes fueron las managers, ¿qué harían? ¿O qué habrían hecho, mejor dicho? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could be, mm -hmm. for example, their... I should have notified the servers. It sería así como like, eh, yo habría, yo debería haber, well, creo que no sería should, sino que could. Could. Porque sería yo podría haber, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. I could have notified the servers. Yo podría haber notificado a los servers. Notify in English es como ponerles un reporte, right? Una warning. Mm. I could have notified the server. Mm -hmm. Yes, because it was their responsibility if they didn't report it, right? Mm -hmm. mm. And, and I think I could have discount. Maybe. Or oh, I should have discount. We should have discount. I have discounted. Mm -hmm. We can use the word cool or should. Depending on what you're trying to say, right? Because it should sería como debería haber. Y entonces yo, yo podría ver. Mm -hmm. It basically depends on what you're trying to say. Mm -hmm. Okay, number three. My customer complain that my servers take too long to deliver the food. Maybe I should have hired another chef, maybe. Okay. That's a good one, a good solution. Okay, number four, the kitchen manager has been taking stuff from the storage room. Has been taking stuff. I should... Clean it. Clean it the storage room. Okay. Maybe. The number five, the schedule is a mess. And it is very difficult for staff to understand it. Okay. 
Agregar es ad, teacher, ad, ad. Correct, ADD. ADD, and the first participle is the I. Add it, ED. Add it, ED. And maybe I should have add more details. More details, okay, very good. Excellent, you finish. So, um, let's see, Ursula, you're going to be my volunteer, okay? <laughs> yes, Ursula, what happens with you, huh? Since you got okay. sick two weeks ago, you don't participate <laughs> anymore. Not even the camera. And before I remember uh, you had the camera on. <laughs> okay, I'm going to close the rooms right now so we can go back to the main session to finish with this activity, okay? That's okay. Okay. I'm just waiting for everybody else to join the class. We can start with this activity. Great, excellent. Everybody, let's just do it quickly so we can go to sleep quickly, all right? So then number two, it says someone broke three bottles of the best wine in the restaurant, but no one... I mean, none of the servers has reported the issue. What would you have done, people? Volunteer, volunteer. What would you have done? Yes, yes, yes. Come on, people, volunteers. He should. He should bend from their salaries. Salarios. Salaries, yes. Uh, well, can you repeat one more time? He should. Wait one second. He should. Deduct the descontar de. All right. Okay. What was this one? So he should. From your salary, you said? Uh, he should deduct from their, their salary. Okay, very good. So that would be something I, uh, let's see here. He should put discount, discounted from their salaries. He should discount, I see people. What can I say falta? Have. Ajá. Have. Um, and then, como es esta, sería aquí. Oops, la regué hecho aquí. All right, ED. ED, ED, ED. Like this one. One second. It will be like this one. He should have discounted from their salaries. You go on this one. He should have discounted it from their salaries all right very good excellent thank you another volunteer please oh thank you eduardo volunteer for number three your microphone is open thank you chair. okay thank you ursula go ahead and number three my customers complain that my servers take too long to deliver food. Mm -hmm. 
I should have hired another chef. Okay, yeah, I should have hired another chef. I like this one. I'm going to write it here. So I should have hired another chef. So I like this one. So that is going to be for number three. Thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. So you go this one. Okay, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So it's going to fit here. Thank you. Okay, excellent. What about number four? Mm -hmm. Number four, number four? Number four, the kitchen manager has been taking a staff from the storage room, from mm -hmm. the storage room. Mm -hmm. And I should have cleaned the storage room. Mm -hmm. I should have cleaned the storage room. All right, very good. I should have cleaned the storage room. Very good, excellent. And the last one, the schedule is a mess and it's very difficult for the staff to understand it. Uh huh. What will be the one here? Hello? Nuria, Reina, Sonia. Guillermo, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I should have add more information. I should have added more information. Excellent. And that's it, all right? Congratulations, guys. I could, uh, you know, you were doing actually a very good job and I'm very happy for you. So you were actually uh, joining um, the activity, right? And also performing that in a really fast way, right? Congratulations. So we are going to stop right here. The weekend is coming. It's a good time for you to complete homeworks, number one, number two, and the midterm if it is possible, right? So, everybody, I hope you have a nice weekend. Have a good night, and I will see you on Monday. Take care. Yeah. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Have a good night.